the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hey guys, this is Nagato, and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showing you guys on how to successfully install a cold boot onto your jailbroken PlayStation 3 along with music and sound. So what I mean by a cold boot is, I'll show you real quick. Let me boot up this image a little bigger. If you guys know when you boot up your PlayStation 3, you get the typical, you know, PlayStation 3 logo and the normal boot up sound. But for here, I'm going to be adding my own personal logo. This works on any images as well and also with a uh, sound. So I'm going to be using my custom sound and one of my favorite beats in this video as well for tutorial purposes. But with that being said, let me go ahead and state the prerequisites and I'm going to explain each of these files and like why it's significant. So you guys can get a little bit of, uh, of a better understanding. So for the first prerequisite, of course, you need a jailbroken PlayStation 3. I am using 4.84 Kex uh, PS3 Slim. This method does work with DEX as well. As long as you want a basically uh, custom firmware PS3, you could do this. I'm not sure too sure with Han yet. I really don't mess with Han systems. I'm, that's new to me as well. But I think you may be able to do this via, via another method. So I'm not too sure. But if I do know, I will let you know in the comment section if you can do this on Han systems. But also what you need is basically your audio file and your audio file basically needs to get cut by eight seconds so you can only you can't play the full audio clip it can only be of course eight seconds and I'll show you a way online how to do that you will also need your photo that you want to use for this process in this case I'm using a dot PNG I also recommend y'all guys using a PNG as well for this process just because you know if you want transparency or a clear image that's why you, you want to use a dot PNG photo so if you grab one online make sure it's a PNG also you need this program right here called easy static RAV converter version 1.0 this is basically going to take your image and create basically a dot RAV file of it this is just a screenshot I just showed you earlier via here, so that doesn't really mean anything. And also you need this program called XVI D4 PSP. And this program is going to allow us to take our audio file and create a two file .ac3 files, which only the PlayStation 3 can read. And basically .ac3 files are just audio files as well. But once you got your image, your basically your audio, what we want to do now is go ahead and go to Google Chrome or any web browser of your choice and what you want to do is go ahead and go to mp3cut.net and this is where we're going to cut our audio file so all you would have to do is just drag and drop right here and basically we got to make this eight seconds so what we want to do is go ahead and I'll play the audio file so let's say if I just want basically eight seconds of the intro that's where I wanted to cut at so all you would have to do is just take these two sliders and just make sure it's about eight seconds so right here you could just count so if you went from like 14 seconds you go 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 so about at 22 seconds or whatever basically you could give yourself seven or you know whatever seconds right here so I'll just stop mines right here you can play the clip back to see how it would sound basically when you convert it over so all you would have to do once you figure out which part of let me pause that basically whatever part you want of your you know sound you can basically just cut it out now so that's basically my cut version of it and all you would have to do is just download it show in folder and then basically I'm going to drag this out back to my desktop so you guys can see to get the cut version of whatever part of so your song you want so this is the cut version we don't need the main version now make sure your thing is a .mp3 file but now what we want to do is go ahead and open up easy static RAV converter and then wait for that thing uh, to boot up it may take a little while because this program is a pretty old program and like I X this out real quick and then once uh, the program comes up, it will prompt you to basically select an image. And what we want to do is basically select our image right here. So mine's is called Untitled Presentation. Yours may be named different. Go ahead and hit open. And then if you click here, you can show the preview and it will show you what it will look like on your PlayStation 3. So this is fine enough for me. If you want to put yours in the left center, 
if you want to put yours in the center right or you know you want to do custom on a certain way if you want to stretch it out it all depends on your you know taste but i'm just going to leave mine as blank all you would have to do once you decide uh which one you want to choose go ahead and hit convert and then what you want to do once the process is done converting it will basically make a little folder for you on your desktop and then you'll see your code boot.raf and also the png so that process is done so we basically have our code boot.raf file and then you could just delete the preview image as well and now what we want to do is go ahead and open up xvi d4 psp project and then go ahead and open it up you may have to run this as administrator as well i'm already admin on my computer so if it's the first time it'll just ask you you know the normal agreement and how and how to install this as well you can let it do its thing but essentially if i open up my little uh tutorial guide what we're going to do after this uh installs we're going to have to put our stuff to these settings and i'll show you how and then basically we're going to have to open all our files and convert these into certain channels so once this process has done i'll pause the video right here and then i'll come back once it's done and i'll show you guys on once it's booted up all right guys so once basically uh the program has finished installing all you would have to do you could see this little icon on your desktop just go ahead and boot it up like normal and then you should get this screen right here it may ask you some questions on basically where you want to install your temporary files at you could just ignore that part and then you'll basically get right onto the main menu but as i've shown here from my little guide we're gonna have to set basically our format and our basically these options right here to the exact same thing so for here you want to go to format scroll all the way down and we got to basically put it to audio and then you can just follow the same steps here filtering you got to basically disable that uh, color correction is disabled but this is very important you got to make sure that this states that the audio encoding is ac3 and at 64 or 640k so we're going to find that right here there you go and then what you want to do now once that process is done minimize that and I'll open this out a little bit bigger what you want to go do is to open files by going and clicking on files right there it may take a little second for it to boot up and then we're gonna find our desktop file or where we basically have our little cut image so right here what we're gonna do is find all audio files you gotta choose a second option and this is basically the cut file that we were messing with a little earlier just go ahead and hit open and then right now is uploading the file onto the program then as you see here you guys can hear that basically the file is playing in real time and then with that what you want to do now is go to the next step and I'll show you guys right here what we need to focus on is to basically configure and open up channels so you will hit configure go to channels and then the source channel we have to convert these to 2ch stereo and let me find it right there and then for here all you would have to do is hit apply first and then you would hit okay and then once that is done you would basically have to hit encode and then we got to name this a certain file right here so if you go to desktop you will have to name your file in all lowercase cold boot underscore stereo and then you could just save it and then your file should basically pop back up onto your PC and this is the file right here and then for the next step what we need to do is you could close that out then we got to do the same thing convert to channel and then we got to put this to 5.1 multi sonic and then we got to name it as cold boot underscore multi so we could just copy this right here or you could just follow along and now what we need to do as well is go to configure go to our uh, source stereo multi sonic 5.1 hit apply first and then once that is done go ahead and hit ok and then hit encode and then from here let me just back this up hit code boot underscore multi i'm gonna put this on my desktop and then right now guys what you also want to do once that process is done we're going to exit out this program so let me go ahead and close right here 
and now you could just basically drag and drop our co-boot file into our ac3 file where the raft was just to make it a little more easier so if you guys wanted to keep all of the files in the same place this is the easiest way so now we got our two sound files and also we got our image itself what we need to do now is go ahead and turn on our ps3 and basically we need to boot into Reebok Toolbox and also we need to boot into FileZilla as well. So we could go ahead and do that now to get a little head start. And basically once you have your PS3 and FileZilla up, you need to go to a certain directory. So what I'm going to do now guys is go on to the PS3 and show you guys the next step. Alright guys, so what you want to do now since you're back on your PlayStation 3, go ahead and boot into whatever user you want to. And assuming that you guys already have Rebug Toolbox installed, if you guys are on the Rebug uh, firmware as well, if you go to just check in Package Manager and then go Install Package Managers and then in System Storage, the very first option, you should see Rebug Toolbox already previously installed because it's built in within the uh, custom firmware itself. But if you guys don't have it, I'll leave a um, link in the description as well on how to do download it. It's just a package file. And if you check out my channel, I'll show you many ways on how to install package files as well. And I'll leave a link in the description up, up above this uh, video clip if you guys don't know how to install package files. But with that being said, what you wanna do now is go ahead and boot into Rebug Toolbox and make sure that your Wi-Fi is on as well. Now we in Rebug Toolbox as you see here. If you go to system information, you'll see my firmware and also my IP address. Just leave Rebug Toolbox right here for right now. And now what we're going to do is go transfer back over to our PC. And then from there, we're going to boot up FileZilla. And then we're going to transfer over our new code boot. And then I'll preview it on the screen once that process is done. So I'll meet y'all guys back on the PC as well. Alright guys, what you want to do now is basically once you're on back on your PC, open up FileZilla. If you guys don't have FileZilla, I'll have a link in the description below on how to install it and also download it. But once you have that, go ahead and type your IP address. Your IP address is also shown in system information within Rebug Toolbox, so you can either write it down or just memorize it. My, in my case, is mine is 1.1.1.2. And then for a PS3, you don't really need to mess with the username, password, or port, so just go ahead and hit quick connect. And as you see here, you basically should see uh, basically all the directories for the PlayStation 3. Now what you want to do is go to dev underscore rebug, go to VSH, resource, and then from here we're going to drag and drop our basically our code boot files in it. So from here we're going to go to desktop and wherever you located your code boot files in. In this case I know it's in untitled presentation 5. And then from here all you would have to do is drag and drop. And then you should get a successful rate thing that says that your transfer has been finished. What you want to do now is go ahead and reboot your PS3. And now you should see your new code boot. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys now. So I'll meet you guys back on the PS3. As shown here, this is the end result. And you should see your code boot right now. With that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching.